Uh, I'm Mike Keefe, I'm the Chairman of the Rotorua Community Youth Centre Trust. Um, it's an amazing organisation. Uh, we have two parts of the organisation, one's a health part run by Dr Tania Pinfold and the other's a, a youth sector providing other programs which are complementary of each other, uh, that's run by Steve Holmes. Um, the, the awards with the Westpac Trust Awards uh, is absolutely fantastic. Um, it, it really, I suppose, has rubber stamped um, this organisation as, as probably a lead provider for youth services in Rotorua. Um, we've been very, very privileged to be visited by very various uh, members of parliament in recent times, uh, especially over the last 12 months, who um, have been looking at what we do and um, some of the feedback that we've been getting has also been very, very awesome. So winning the award, um, for me personally, um, was probably the, the highlight of my, uh, of my tenure as the chair of the organisation. Um, but the real credit really goes to Steve and Tania and their teams. Um, the impact of the work that they both do um, has some very long term and intermediate term uh, really, really good social impacts. Uh, I don't want to go into details because I'll let them explain that to you. They know more about it than I do. Uh, they do all the really hard yards. Kia ora, my name's Steve Holmes and I'm the manager of the Rotorua Community Youth Centre youth development side of things. This year we have begun looking at employment related programs. Um, we are working fairly closely with work and income. We've been trialling a program that we have developed called Whakamanawa which includes three steps of uh, pre-employment um, employment ready or job ready and also post-employment. Um, but probably the biggest thing that we're uh, really proud of is a, an IT initiative called Youth Hub, which is around young people having access to quality and up-to-date information. Uh, it's around services working closely together in a connected youth service delivery model. And it's about young people profiling themselves and working towards um, employability and building connections with their community so it's a similar sort of concept to LinkedIn but for young people um, and it it is aimed at building a supportive community around young people of all the services and all the support mechanisms that they need in order to be successful in life. Our vision is for young people to uh, see or realize their full potential or move towards their full potential so when we have young people come in here we try to wrap as much as we can around those young people so young people are not just coming in for a game of pool they're engaging in something they're learning um, we have a whole lot of great services available here uh, we're connecting them with information and advice we have youth workers and mentors we have a great health facility we have driver licensing programs uh, we have the employment related things and so it's about wrapping as much support as we can around young Kia people. Kia my name's Tania Pinfold. I'm a GP and my position here is clinical lead for Rota Vegas Youth Health, which is a free health service for local 15 to 24 year olds. I worked in mainstream general practice about 20 years ago and through that time realised that there were a lot of problems that didn't even come in the door to general practice. So a lot of young people who needed help with health problems and life problems but they weren't able to connect with the right kind of people. Um, so we went about developing a service that was appropriate for young people and free and accessible and youth specific. We commonly see young people who have really difficult lives and they might present because of their health challenges, but behind those problems there's all kinds of difficult social problems, family struggles, difficulty finding work, um, disconnecting from school, and an ability to make the progress that they need to be doing. It's excellent when we find that we are making a big difference for young people who would really struggle to get their needs met in any other way. We can't say that we see all young people in Rotorua and we can't say that we are looking after the needs of all young people. Um, we already have 10,000 consultations a year in our health service at Rota Vegas, um, but I think we can always do more a wider spread of services for a greater number of young people. Our service also supports the wellness centres in the high schools with GPs available 16 sessions per week shared around the local high schools and the health care at Te Maioha. Um, so the spread of work gives us great access to young people. The only limit is the number of hours that we can put into it 